Welcome to Chapter 9, Instrument Approach Charts, IAC. In this chapter, we will look at how NavBlue present the aeronautical information on an IAC chart and any key differences to the Jefferson charts. Here is an example of an IAC chart, ILS Runway 29. The IAC chart shall be arranged to show the actual procedure on one page. It will normally start from the initial approach fix to and including the missed approach. Normally only one procedure type shall be shown on each chart, but if the procedures are almost the same and there will not be too many exceptions, then they can be put together. The chart is laid out like so. The communications area to show the comms in order. The approach information starting with the main approach aid and frequency which is defined as the aid that the final approach and minima is based on. The final approach track as published in the official documentation, threshold elevation or displaced threshold, transition level and transition altitude. The plan view The profile view with the missed approach text included. The minima section. And the runway and approach lighting box, given information on LDAs, visual age and approach lighting. We will now look at the different symbols and how NavBlue present them on the IAC chart. The procedure aerodrome with the correct runway alignment. Aerodromes outside the 10 nautical mile circle will be shown as a cog with the name and IKEA code. Aerodromes within will be shown with the runway alignment, name and IKEA code. Any intersections based off a DME, Obstacle or spot height, according to the AIP, provided they are higher than the elevation of the lowest usable runway threshold. Coastline, rivers and built-up areas are to be shown in the exact location. Intersection or reporting points with name, altitude and DME distance. Note, no coordinates will be shown on IAC charts. Circling lead-in runway alignment lines with code and colour in text close to the symbol. Markers showing the outer, middle and inner if the state published them. The localiser beam. This is showing a front beam localiser. In this example, it is showing a back beam localiser procedure with a solid black part to the left in the approach direction. The back beam outbound bearing either below the localizer or behind it as shown here. A warning note will be inserted for the back beam localizer. A nav aid outside of the chart frame. The localizer information box. The wording ILS DME or LOC DME on top of the box when the DME function is calibrated to threshold or touchdown point. If DME function is not calibrated to the threshold touchdown point, use the wording ILS or LOC and a separate DME box will be shown at the correct position in the plan view. Radials and bearings from or to a nav aid. Here we have the profile for the ILS runway 29. The scale will normally be the same as the plan view. Exact values will be published when shown by the state. 
and a profile be drawn from the right or the left in accordance with the chart procedure. The DME distance to threshold when officially published by the authorities or by an obvious calculation. The inner marker and middle marker will also be shown on the plan view. The approach angle given in degrees in this example, the glide path angle is positioned at the end of the localizer beam. The C chart will be used when more than one altitude from different nav aids or intersections are shown in the plan view. The final approach track. Minimum altitudes in the final approach are as published. All altitudes in the profile will be shown in feet and Q and H. The threshold crossing height will be published by the state. The VOR DME procedure the VOR will be in the title and a note with the word DME required will be inserted. In the main approach shade, it will now show the VOR DME procedure with the relevant frequency and ident. Magnetic variation will be on all ISC charts, normally in the upper left corner of the chart. The final approach track on charts will be shown in a large, bold font. The holding patterns with the minimum holding altitude. In this example, NavBlue is showing a standard one minute hold. All prohibited, restricted and danger areas are to be shown on all IAC charts. The location of the VOR DME without the coordinates. Here is an example of the intersection with a name and a DME distance. The intersection name will be written in italic font. The final approach track, which will match what is on the plan view. Fixed based on a DME distance. The missed approach point will be on the same side as the missed approach text. All ISC profiles will have the missed approach text alongside the procedure. The text will be given as far as possible in accordance with the AIP. Navate in, in the missed approach text will be outlined with a rectangle. Navblue will show missed approach line as a dashed black line in the profile and on the plan view. Nav blue do not show step downs, they show a constant descent profile. Should a VDP visual descent point be defined, Nav blue will show the VDP with a symbol and the applicable distance. Here is an RNAV chart with topography on it. Please familiarise yourself with the depiction of the aeronautical information. Here is an RNAV waypoint, written in italic form without the coordinates. The IAF and IF. Nav blue will only show the IFs on RNAV charts.
Here we can see an example of how navblues show the topography, including the highest point arrow, which is shown here as a black arrow. The minimum sector altitude, preferably shown in the right bottom corner of the plan view. The TAA will replace the minimum sector altitude if both are published. Any notes to be published? The distance circle, normally centred on the ARP, radius will normally be 10 nautical miles. Depending on the scale, a radius of 20 nautical miles can be used. Speed limit points to be shown on RNAV charts only. The missed approach hold with a minimum holding altitude will be a solid dashed line. The runway and approach lighting box will give you the LDA in metres and feet and the approach lighting with the approach aid such as Pappies or Vases as shown here, Pappies with 3 degrees. Here is an example of the profile for the RNAV procedure. Here is the RNAV fix, written as italic. The last fix on an RNAV procedure, usually at the FAF, will include the distance to the threshold. The descent angle to be indicated for non-precision approaches in degrees with one decimal. If no official value given, leave blank. Note, when profile has different angle of descent from fixed to the faff and the faff to the threshold, show profile with different angles and place the glide path angle after the faff. Here is an example of how NavBlue will present a bust altitude in the missed approach text. The runway symbol in the profile is shown like this. If the threshold is displaced, nav blue will show the symbol with a small gap as shown here. If the minimum crossing altitude and obstacle altitude are the same, the italics text will be omitted. The scale bar at the bottom are distances in nautical miles from the threshold or displaced threshold. Now blue will not show distances after the threshold or displaced threshold. Here is an example of a profile with combined procedures. The ILS final approach altitudes are to be indicated. The altitude figures for the other procedure to be indicated when it is different to the ILS altitude. This additional altitude figure to be placed as a note, preferably on the lower part of the profile. This profile shows a one minute racetrack procedure with the inbound and outbound tracks. The time for this procedure is indicated above the procedure line. This profile shows a 45 degree procedure turn with the inbound and outbound tracks. The time for this procedure is also indicated above the procedure line. Visual charts will be created as per the state or by request. We can now look at the differences between the NAV Blue and Jefferson charts. The communications area on NAV Blue charts is located at the top and will be in order. The approach information NAV Blue will show the main approach aid, the final approach track 
the threshold and aerodrome elevation, the trans level and trans altitude. We will not include the glide slope intercept height and any ILS decision altitude. This will all be shown at the bottom in the profile or in the minima section. The missed approach text information in the now blue charts will be written in the profile next to the missed approach. The highest obstacle or spot height on the chart Prohibited, danger or restricted areas, shown here in the nav blue charts as red. Nav blue will show all of these areas on the IC charts. Nav blue will only show the symbol for the marker. Nav blue will not label the middle marker or inner marker. The ILS radio information box with a leader line that will be pointing to the localizer beam. Notes will be separated in their own boxes. The MSA sector. Normally, on a nav blue chart, will be in the bottom right hand corner of the plan review. VOR DME. The missed approach point will be written above the missed approach text in the profile. Now blue charts are drawn to scale. Latitude and longitude markings along the right and top chart border with a resolution of one minute. Longer markings for five and ten minutes. Figures to be shown for every ten minutes. For left and bottom chart border, mark every ten minutes. The magnetic variation shown at the top left hand corner of the chart on all ISCs. As previously mentioned, the distance markings in the profile are nautical miles from the threshold or displaced threshold. Now blue can issue topography charts showing obstacles, spot heights, 